on today's episode of Coral Friday, um, I picked some really nice specimens for you guys. Um, what I ended up doing is picking up two corals because I wasn't able to uh, do last week's because I was in Washington DC for uh, MACDA. It was a great time. So I'm going to show you these two corals I picked up for you guys. Uh, I ended up picking up a couple that you guys actually wanted to see. So the one coral I picked up for you guys was a torch. I got a really nice torch. Um, it's one from like Australia and it has really nice pink tips on it. It's amazing. I can't wait to get it under the blue lights to show you guys. And the other coral I ended up picking up was a golden torch. Um, I haven't had one of these yet and I'm pretty excited to get in the tank and show you guys. So let's take these two corals down uh, to the fish lab. Let's uh, coral dip them, see if we have any pests come off. And then uh, we'll end up, we'll bring them upstairs. We'll get them all mounted and I'll show you the application we're gonna use to mount it. And then uh, we'll get them under the blue lights and I'll show you where and why I put them in these areas, guys. All right, so let's head down to the lab and we'll see what we got. All right, guys, so I just made it down to my fish lab. Um, I got my water all measured out, uh, 3.8 liters of water for four capfuls of uh, Revive uh, Cleaner from Julian Sprung by Two Little Fishies. It's great stuff, $9.99 at your local fish store. So you end up putting four capfuls of this, guys, in your 3.8 liters of water. So to get on to our specimens I end up picking up for you guys, um, I got the, the torch here. This torch, it has nice, uh, really nice pink tips on it. Um, it's more of a rare coral, you guys can see. So I just want to show you guys before I take it out of the bag. It doesn't do it any justice right now because we're not under any blues right now. But I'll bring you guys up close and personal to check that out. So that's a really nice piece. Um, the other part, uh, the other uh, specimen I got for you guys is a nice uh, hammer coral. This one's got it's got really nice uh, golden uh, polyps on it. You guys will have to check that up. Check that out. I'll show you. That's uh, show you guys under the blues. So I'm gonna get these guys into the coral dip. We're gonna end up leaving it in the coral dip for about 15 minutes, just to make sure we have no pests go into our tank. Um, you get pests in your tank, it can wreak havoc, and it's very hard to get rid of, like flatworms or uh, pyramid snails. If you guys have any uh, clams in your tank, and you don't wanna get pyramid snails on there. If you guys ever see like a little white snail, and it's attached to like to the mantle around where the fleshy area is, that means you have uh, these little pyramid snails, and they come out at night, and then they feed on the mantle of, uh, of your clam. So if you have a smaller clam, it could almost kill it. If you have a large clam, it takes a while and they, they spread like crazy. You'll see a little bit of like, uh, they lay eggs and it's really clear, like it looks like jelly and those are the eggs. So it's always best to make sure you always coral dip all your corals because you could have one pyramid snail, you know, get on a torch coral, get into your main display and there you go. Your clams have these uh, little pyramid snails and they're very difficult to get rid of guys. Sorry I got off, off topic there, but I just want to stress to you guys when you have clams, be very careful. So let's get these uh, two corals into the Revive Coral Dip. We're gonna let them sit 15 minutes and we'll see what happens. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we got the torch coral here and we got the hammer coral. So they've been in the Revive for 15 minutes now. I'm soon ready to take them out. I agitated the water and I don't see any pests so far. I see a couple mice and shrimp running around, but that's about it. So these corals are, are pretty clean. So All right, guys. So the coral's been uh, in there for 15 minutes now. So the last thing we have to do here, the last step, is I always, you know, I always stress uh, rinse your corals before you put them in your display tank. So what I like to do is I just take my container, I'm going to rinse these corals three times with just some uh, water out of my sump, make sure they're all cleaned up, put them back in the container, and then we'll take them upstairs and put them in the display tank, guys, aficionado. So that's the plan. Let's head upstairs and uh, we'll, put, we'll mount them up, show you where I'm mounting them, and then we'll turn the blues on and uh, see what kind of colors pop, guys. All right, we made up to 220 gallon uh, splay tank. So a few things to know about the torch uh, coral. Um, make sure to keep your elements up there. You keep your uh, magnesium, calcium, uh, strodium, keep them all in check so you get a lot of good uh, coral growth. All right, guys? The torch coral, it likes uh, moderate water flow, moderate light. It's a, it's a very aggressive coral as well. So you wanna make sure to give it enough, uh, enough space around the coral because at night, um, it's sweeper tentacles can, can come out at least three to four inches and can uh, attach these corals. They like to place near the bottom of your tank. Um, where I'm probably gonna end up putting mine is uh, right here near the middle and near the bottom. There's a nice area here and it's got just enough light and just enough flow for this coral that probably make it nice and comfortable. So that's where I'm gonna end up putting that one because they're aggressive in this area. I don't have many corals around for its sweeper tentacles uh, to come in contact with. So moderate flow, moderate All right light. guys, so moving on to the next coral. We have the golden hammer coral. It's pretty similar to the torch coral. It likes all the same elements. It likes your magnesium, your calcium, uh, your strodium. And it likes a pH from uh, 8.1 to 8.4 and a DKH from 8 to 12. So if you can keep all those elements in check, um, you'll have yourself a very uh, happy coral that is gonna keep growing and thriving in your tanks for a long time. 
So those, and uh, one other thing, it likes uh, moderate flow, moderate light as well. And I'm, I'm going to mount it in the lower part of my tank as well. Um, I have a great location, um, so I don't have as many corals around there. So at night when its sweepers come out and it's trying to feed, it can't touch any of my other corals and uh, sting them and kill them. So let's go ahead, let's get these corals all mounted up in the tank. Um, the application I'm going to use today is I'm going to use the Aquascape uh, two compound putty. Um, we have, uh, I'll show you guys right here right now. So you open your box, you have two putties. We have a purple and we have like a, a green gray. So what you're going to do is you're going to break off about an inch each and you're going to mold them together until it comes out and looks like coralline algae. This stuff works great because you can mold it around your coral and then mold it right into your rock work and then it sticks. And what I like to do is just add a little bit of coral glue to the bottom base of the coral and uh, make an imprint and then mold it over the bottom of the coral and then it, it can't get, uh, fall off guys. So I'm going to go ahead right now, I'm going to mount it up. I'll show you guys in a few minutes um, the location. Right, so I got the two corals mounted up guys. I ended up using the, the Aquascape uh, putty. This stuff works great. I use it on all my corals. Um, so I ended up getting it mounted up. I ended up mounting uh, the torch coral with the pink tips dead center of my tank, lower area, and I end up putting uh, the, the hammer uh, coral uh, mid-level off a cliff a little bit. So it's gonna look really amazing as soon as the polyps open on this, and then we'll end up putting them under the blue light, and we'll see if we can get the colors to pop, guys. So let's go, let's head over here now and check out these two corals. So I got the corals all mounted up. What I'm gonna do is I got my reef link here open. I'm gonna bring you guys up and close. So let's see if we can see these colors pop on the torch coral and the, the golden hammer coral. All right, guys, so here's the pink tip torch coral. So let's, uh, I got the reef link open, so let's start turning our colors down. So let's take our reds down to zero. Let's take our greens down to zero. Let's take our cool whites down. So now we're getting into the blues, guys. So let's move, let's take our, our blues down 50%. So if you guys could see pink on the tips here, guys. It's a beautiful looking coral. So let's bring the cool Let's take the blues right down. All right guys, so there's the golden hammer. So let's start turning the colors down and uh, we'll see how, how this pops. So it's supposed to be like a golden color. So let's start turning them down. So I got my reef link open, so let's turn the reds down. Let's turn the greens down. Let's turn the cool whites. So now we're just got blue, royal blue, and UV. So let's start dropping it a bit. Very nice. All right, guys, so that is the golden hammer. This is a beautiful looking coral, guys. All right, guys, so this is another episode of Coral Friday. I hope you guys like those two corals I picked out for you. Um, I hope you guys tune in next week. Um, you never know what coral I'm going to have for you guys. So uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, Aqua Valley for uh, these two corals I picked out today. Uh, they're awesome uh, specimens. So I hope you guys uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next Friday.